Hey everyone, here's a question from linear equation. The question is, solve each of the following equation, also verify the result. We have a two question here. Now first we have to solve the equation, that is known to get the value of x and then later we have to verify. Verify means we have to substitute back the x value and check if LHS and RHS are equal or not. So let's take the first question. So in the first one we have 6x plus 5 so 6x plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 17. Now we have to find the x value. So we're going to bring all the x value, uh, the variables to the one side and constants to one side. So we're going to transpose 2x to the left side and the 5 to the right side. I'm going to use a transpose method here. So when transposing the signs will change. Plus will become minus, minus will become plus. So this will be 6x now when you transpose 2x to other side, 2x sign right now is positive and transport will be negative. So 6x minus 2x is equal to, we have 17 here, so let me write down 17. Now I'm going to transpose 5 to other side. Now sign of 5 is positive and transport will be negative, so 17 minus 5. So 6x minus 2x is 4x, so 4x is equal to 17 minus 5 will be 12. So we'll get here 12. Now we have to get the value of x. We don't want 4 here. I'm going to transpose 4 to the other side. Now 4 is in multiplication. When you transpose, it will be in division. So 12 divided by 4. Now cancel it. 4 ones are and 4 threes are 12. So therefore, x is equal to 3. Now we got the x value. Now thing is we have to check, like we have to verify it. Verify means we have to see if LHS and RHS are equal or not. So first I'm going to substitute in LHS and I'm going to substitute in RHS and I'll see if the values are same or not. So LHS is uh, equal to 6x plus 5, right? Left hand side. So in place of x, substitute 3. So 6 into 3 plus 5. So 6 threes are 18. So 18 plus 5 will be equal to 23. Now same thing I'm going to do with RHS. So in RHS we have 2x plus 17. So in place of x, you put 3 plus 17. So 2 3s are 6. So 6 plus 17, which will be equal to 23. So you can see that both LHS and RHS, we got 23, which means LHS is equal to RHS, which means we have verified. Now in case your LHS and RHS are not equal, or uh, which means your answer, you might have done some mistakes there. You can just cross check your answer. Now let's do the same thing. We're going to uh, do the second question here. Now, in second one, we have a brackets. So, second question. So, 2 into, the brackets means multiplications, 5x minus 3 and minus 3, again, 2x minus 1 is equal to 9. Now, first, we're going to open the bracket. Uh, so, open the bracket means whatever number you have outside the bracket, multiply with. So, here we have a 2. So, multiply 2 with 5x and again 2 with minus 3. So, this will be... 2 into 5x will be 10. x 2 5 is a 10, right? So 10x minus sign is there. Put minus sign. So 2 3 is a 6. Next. Here we have minus 3. So we have to multiply with minus 3. So minus 3 into 2x or minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. So minus 6. And there's a variable x. So put x. Now minus 3 into minus 1 will be plus 3. Minus minus is plus, right? When you multiply with the same sign, it will be positive. Uh, if you multiply negative sign even number of times, you will get the plus sign. So multiplying here twice, which is two times, which is even, so I'll get plus sign. And this is equal to 9. Now after this, I'm going to bring all the variables to one side and constants to the other side. So I'm going to transpose this minus 6 uh, and 3. Or you can do one thing. We can solve minus 6 and 3 in this step and then we're going to transpose it. So we'll get here. Uh, one more thing we can do here is solve 10x and minus 6x because they are like terms we can do it so 10x minus 6x so 10 minus 6 is 4 we'll get here 4x the next we have minus 6 and plus 3 so minus 6 plus 3 they have a different sign different sign means we have to subtract so 6 minus 3 will be 3 and the sign will be of the number which is greater 6 is greater its sign is negative it will be minus 3 so 4x minus 3 is equal to 9. Now bring minus 3 to the other side. 
So sine is negative and your transport will be a positive. So 9 plus 3 which will be 12. So 4x is equal to 12. Now we have to uh, get the value of x so transpose 4 to the other side. 4 will come in division. Like it, right now it's in multiplication and transpose it will be in division. So x will be equal to 12 divided by 4. Now cancel the number 4 ones are 4 threes are. So therefore x is equal to 3. So in this question also we got x value is equal to 3. Now we're going to verify. So here if you see in the second question we on, on RHS we have 9. On the LHS we have to substitute the x value and check if we are getting 9 or not. Okay. So let's solve this. So we have LHS which is equal to 2 into 5x minus 3 then minus 3 into 2x minus 1. I'm going to put in place of x3. So this is equal to 2 into 5 into 3 minus 3. Then minus 3 into wherever you have x, you just put 3. That's it. So here first all the bracket parts. So we're going to multiply 5, 3, 5 and 3. 5 3 is 15. So 15 minus 3. And then minus 3 into 2 3 is 6. So 6 minus 1. Again, still we have a bracket, so all the bracket parts. So 15 minus 3 will be 12. So we'll get 12 here, minus 3. And then 6 minus 1 is 5. Now 12, 2 is 24. So 24 minus 3, 5 is 15. Now when you subtract 24 and 15, you will get the answer 9, which is equal to your RHS. RHS is also equal to 9, right? So therefore, LHS is equal to RHS, which means your answer is verified. So that's it. I hope this question is clear how to get the value of x and then substitute back to check your answer or verify your answer. Now in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.